This is another fun part about getting ready with these. Like, start it like this. Hopefully, the end product will be. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to Curology for sponsoring today's video. I've gotten a ton of questions about my skincare routine these days because my skin is doing so good. This is no filter, natural lighting. I don't have anything on my face. Yeah, period. If you know where we started versus where we are now, it was such a process and a journey to get here. And I tried so many different over the counter products, super expensive skincare, like procedures, routine, like, I tried everything, okay? And nothing consistently kept my skin clear until I started using Curology. I've learned on my skincare journey that less is just more and Curology gives me just exactly what I need. What I love about Curology is that it is custom tailored to your skin needs. And after using it for a couple months, this is what my skin is looking like and I could not be happier with my results. So if you're interested in checking out Curology, all you have to do is go to Curology.com, which I will have linked in the description box and just take that super simple quiz. Upload a couple pictures of your face from the left, the right, in the front and then your dermatology provider will analyze your skin and create your custom routine go ahead get started today girl click the link in my description box and get clearer skin so you can feel more confident in your skin i feel like that is what it's all been about for me while my skincare journey is just refinding my confidence when i had acne i was super insecure and self-conscious about going out into public people seeing my dark marks and my hormonal acne and it really just had me in a bad space mentally so Curology has helped me so much with that it's just given me my confidence back and made me want to get ready and go outside put on you know even maybe a little makeup or something now that I have like a good foundation of clear skin so I would highly recommend checking out Curology and let's go ahead and get right back into the video welcome back to my channel if you read the title we're gonna do a get ready with me if you've been here from the very beginning this is what i originally started doing on my channel and i miss doing them so much so before we get into the video just give me like a couple seconds to give you a breakdown of everything that we're gonna be doing because it's gonna be a little different than the way i used to do them so i'm kind of excited so tea is i don't really have anywhere <laughs> to go but I want to practice getting ready and I know that might sound silly but like I as an I use I, girl if you're new here just I can't talk speak English properly nothing okay is a hot mess but anyways so basically I was never one of those girls who like grew up and was like getting ready early in the morning before school doing makeup picking out my outfit literally sweatpants t-shirt hair in a bun like that was me the majority of my life it still is me and I have accepted now that i'm like 25 i have three kids that's my comfort zone i'm probably always going to be a casual sweatpants hair in a ponytail type of girl just laid back on a regular everyday basis you know what i'm saying my life is not glitz and glam i don't need to be glitz and glam every day but when i go out with my man or if i go out with my friends i want to be cute you know what i'm saying and i feel like i struggle so hard with getting cute because i have no practice i don't be knowing what to do okay so we are starting to get ready with me they're coming back and i'm basically just going to be getting ready sometimes I may have something to do today I don't have nothing to do we're just gonna vibe and you guys are gonna help me so this is gonna be interactive this is like going both ways okay I'm gonna help y'all hopefully put you on to some scents some products because y'all know I'm not good for a hair a makeup or an outfit okay so that's the part you're gonna help me with and I'm gonna help you with the smell good products okay so that's basically everything that we're gonna be doing in this get ready with me we're going to be finding an outfit we're gonna have a shower routine and a fragrance we're gonna what are we putting in our purse for the occasion what else we got to do my hair a little bit my hair is in boho braids so just like minimal styling a little bit of edges we're gonna do practice doing our makeup and see like what colors look good with what outfits and then by the time I actually have somewhere to go I need you guys to have given me advice okay send me links 
links in the description box for like little pieces that I'm missing, whether that's like accessories from my outfits, a perfume suggestion that you may have, little tips and tricks that you do. We all just help each other out in the comments. Okay, girls? So that's what we're about to do. I don't really know where we're pretending to get ready to go today. I have an outfit in mind because it's like an outfit that I've been wanting to wear, but I have no idea what to style with it, jewelry wise, bag wise, or shoe wise. So that's where I need y'all's help. I do have a fragrance or a shower routine in mind that I'm thinking about doing. But then I was thinking and I was like, should we coordinate the outfit colors to match the vibe of the fragrance? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the outfit that I want to wear is like this brown outfit. I feel like it's like transitioned into fall. Cause anyways, we're going to go in the closet. I'm going to show you. We're going to do a lot of stuff before we actually get into the video because we want to be well prepared. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I guess let's start with the outfit first. I'm going to take you guys into the closet. We're going to look at it and then you guys can't help me right now in real time, but I'm going to like ponder on it a little bit and think about the fragrance. Cause I had this one like fragrance or scent routine picked out, but now I'm like, maybe I should pick more fall vibes or fragrances to match the outfit. I was gonna go like more tropical, more summery, but the outfit is not like super summery. So let's just go look at it. Let's see. Again, I'm not wearing it today, so I need your help, please, with a shoe and a bag because I do not know how to style this outfit for the life of me. And I know some people say, oh, we could just go on like Insta. No, I don't be finding what I need to find. Okay, this right here is the outfit i still have the tags on it which i don't know why because i'm way past the return date but i figured if i if it didn't fit then i would return it but it still doesn't fit all the way i have to get this like actually altered like the top before i can wear it out anywhere so this is what we're going with I, you may have seen me try this on if you watch my vlogs like a long time ago but again like straps on i need to cut these off actually oh i might have some scissors upstairs one second all right let's cut the tags off oh Okay, I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see like what it looks like on me and what you think that I should wear it with. Now, in my head, I'm like, okay, we could either go two different ways on this, I feel like. We could go like pop of color on the shoes and the purse since it's a, like a brown set or do we keep it neutral and just do like something like cream, whitish. Also keep in mind if you're gonna help me, which I really hope that you do because your girl needs it real bad, okay? I can only wear something like this. The tallest we're gonna be able to go on a heel is minimal okay minimal so when we're looking at stuff sandals are a good option and kitten heels good option okay anything else don't send it my way because i can't walk in it and i'm not there yet that'll be maybe when i get in my 30s we'll learn how to walk in heels but right now no the lighting in here is also awful but i feel like white is just who i don't know i didn't like the white i'm gonna try it on like i said but i know i didn't want to do black then i was thinking maybe like pink but is that too bright of a pink? And y'all be so for real with me right now. Or a lighter pink. The problem with this bag is I have no shoes to match this bag. Cause I got this bag for Mother's Day. So I didn't go get it. So I didn't buy any shoes with it, but I have to find a pair of shoes that kind of like matches this like light. It's like kind of like pearl reflecting. I'm dying to wear this bag and this outfit. Can we make these go together or not? Let me try it on so you guys can see what it actually is giving. And then hopefully we'll have a better idea. I look a mess right now too. That's another fun part about getting ready with me. It's like, started like this. Hopefully the end product will be better. <laughs> so this is the fit. Where would we wear this to also? What is it giving? I feel like it's giving either like brunch, but also I feel like it's a little too fancy for brunch. I'm a very casual girl, okay? So anything other than jeans or like a two-piece set that's like not House of CB is the best I usually do. So. The pants are so cute. They're so flattering on my butt. I feel like this whole set is very flattering on me. The only thing I have to get tailored is these straps. And then I'm also going to get the bottom of the legs taped in. Ow! I stepped on my heel just a little bit. I might do that today, actually. If I have some time after this, go drop this off. Because I have another set, too, that I really like that I've never been able to wear. So I need to get the straps taken in. Anything you order from House of CB, just plan to get altered. Because nothing is fits just perfectly, I feel like. So this is what we're looking like with it on. I love it. I think it's such a cute set, but I feel like it is fall and it might even be like dinner. I don't know. I feel like the cargo-ish style of the pants makes it like a little bit more casual. So it's like, I'm not really going anywhere that super fancy, but I feel like I would definitely probably wear this somewhere at night or on a date. You know what I'm saying? Like cute, like a little dinner. I don't really know where I would wear this, honestly. Now I need help with that. So let's figure that out. Okay. But 
The bag options that we had, I'm trying to see if I can let go of this without it falling. The pink, what do we think about the pink? I'm looking at it in the mirror and I'm like, I feel like it could potentially work if we had some shoes to match. It gives it like a little pop of color, but it's not as harsh as white, right? But because like if I want to do like a neutral color, I'm thinking like a cream, like a tan or even like a little gold, something simple, like maybe like a little clutch or something with like a simple. You guys see it? Yeah. Are we getting the vibes? Are we getting the vibes? All the other bags I have are like brown. I have another. I have this pink one. This Jock Moose. I cannot pronounce names either, so don't. I feel like that's kind of cute too. That makes it like a little bit more fun and like summery-ish. And the shoes that I would wear with this, gotta get a matching shoe for the bag, okay? Would be these shoes because they match perfectly with this. I'm gonna see if I can bring y'all down a little bit so you can see. No, the pants I need to get taken in at the bottom. I can't be held responsible for anything that you see on the floor, okay? You get what I'm saying though? Like, is the pink or a color cute with this or is it not? I have to get the bottoms taken in so don't pay attention to that. But like, what do we think? I don't know. I'm not a fashion girl either so I don't really know like if that is fashionably appropriate or not so i'm gonna be taking your word for it so please don't steer me wrong but anyways we got the outfit envisioned right super cute i like the set don't tell me nothing about what i already picked out because i do like this set so please don't tell me that you don't like it because my heart is already set on wearing it and i will be so sad so <laughs> Now, do y'all get what I was saying about evening vibes? So not going for like the tropical smelling routine and maybe going with something more fall. Like I feel like this is transitioning from summer to fall. Still could wear like a little cute sandal with it. Open toe, the weather could be, I live in Texas, so like in the 70s or something, or even a little warmer than that. But it's like brown. So like, is that not giving fall-ish? I don't know, that's how I'm feeling right now. So my original fragrance, let me put my other top back on really fast too, so I don't have to worry about nip slip. So originally I was gonna go with this because I recently got the body wash and so I was like, perfect. I have the body wash, I have a little scrub that will match. And then this is like fruity vanilla vibes. I feel like this could still go with the outfit because there's still a lot of vanilla in it. It's not overpoweringly like fruity. Like it's not like so floral and fruity and juicy like the light pink one or like these other like Win in Rio, the other Sage of Sol de Janeiro mist and i'm actually really liking mists over perfumes right now i don't know why something about like mist right now i'm just preferring a lot more over actual perfumes i don't know i feel like i need some new perfume suggestions the last couple ones that i've like picked up and i'm like oh i kind of like it i just don't really be reaching for that much anymore so i'm like hmm, do i really like it i don't know maybe i need to like expand my palette i don't know anyways this just smells so good so i was like mm, i think i'm gonna do this because i have the body wash and the lotion but then i was like a mist is kind of light so especially if it's evening time i would like to have like a heavier perfume to like pair with this so then i was like okay well let me see what i have okay i forgot about this Ooh, scarlet poppy goes really well with this in my opinion and that's kind of like fallish vibes is it not are we feeling this i'm kind of leaning towards this now but my other option was because it's brown we could go with something like a super fallish vibe or scent i really like the replica or the mason margella jazz club autumn vibes what is it fall break or fall leaves by the fireplace jazz clubs autumn vibes yeah for fall right and i feel like they pair really well with vanillas so i have the vanilla skin from fleur and then i also got that girl viral vanilla this is the collab with paul i i don't remember his last name but he's super popular on tiktok for doing like fragrance reviews and all that kind of stuff so i got this when he dropped it but i feel like the vanilla and the fall scents also would go really well with that outfit the mood and the vibe and the time of year it's not fall yet but it's about to be it's like mid-august right so we're we're preparing okay preparation do i have anywhere to go or any plans no i also like somebody would Somebody would, I feel like, would go really nicely with this too. Now I'm conflicted. So, I also need help with jewelry. This is like my everyday, like, little dainty necklace that I wear all of the time. And then I have my engagement ring that I usually wear. Not usually wear, I always wear it, but I don't have it on right now. So, I don't really wear it, like, around the house because I'm usually, like, doing dishes or eating a whole bunch of stuff and I don't want to get it dirty or lose it. So, little dainty necklace. I also have this little necklace, I mean, little bracelet that I wear. It's just, I have, everything that I have is, like, very dainty. So, like, my 
my everyday jewelry pieces are super dainty but I would love to have like some more statement pieces and I have like the little Bottega dupe and like drop earrings so keep that in mind that could potentially work what else I don't know because now I don't really know where to go with the fragrance vibe even though my heart is telling me Sol de Janeiro Scarlet Poppy, I feel like we could just save that for something else that might be a little bit more fitting. And let's just stay in like the aesthetic of the neutral fall vibes with the outfit. So let's choose between somebody would. I'm about to take a shower, so we're gonna wash this all off. Or should we do autumn vibes? I also have, I don't know. I just feel like certain fragrances go with certain occasions and to me, I like the somebody would but it's very light so it's giving like daytime casual running errands in the fall type vibes and then the autumn vibes is giving me like sorry i'm a little stuffy by the way it's giving me like casual maybe going to like my kids sports game going to watch a football game or like some type of like outdoorsy type vibes but like when i'm going on like a date which i feel like is what this outfit is giving or something like cuter with the girls even it's giving like i want to smell like feminine fruity juicy like that's just my vibes this is i have like a whole bunch of the little samples this is by the fireplace i feel like these are more like giving like christmas day slow morning sitting in the house cuddled up that's what you want to smell like the season you know what i'm saying so i thought i had jazz club in here because i'm like jazz club might be a little bit better of an option i have so many though coffee break also nice but it's also giving coffee shop pumpkin pat like all this is giving like pumpkin patch vibes and all that we're going on a date i want to smell sexy not like a fall leaf dang i wish i could find jazz club because i know that's also a fall fragrance but i think it would go better hmm, i can't find it i thought i had it now what is a girl to do we don't know okay maybe we'll pretend like we have jazz club because we're still really not going anywhere i'm starting to get stressed and the vibes are we're not even leaving the house so let's just do our base as vanilla because that's what i was going to use as my base anyways whatever i was going to pair on top of it was just going to be with this so this is a little bit more like sweet and gourmand and this smells like what they named it like just like light fresh vanilla skin and i feel like this pairs really well with fall fragrances so i'm gonna do this as my base i gotta go to sephora anyway so i'll probably just pick up jazz club and then we can i mean we'll see what the final product of this ends up as anyways we're gonna go vanilla skin we're gonna stick with Josie Moran, which if you've been watching my last couple of videos are probably burnt out and like girl okay what's next what's new but i'm loving the like whipped argon oil body butter it literally doesn't smell like anything it's just a very hydrating good base like body butter to layer fragrances on and then this is the Josie Moran argon oil body scrub and i want to say is this like I think it's like vanilla vibes. Let me see. Yeah, vanilla vibes. This is the little refill for it. So this also pairs really well with just like fall vanilla vibes. I mean, you could really use it as a base for anything. I think those two are like perfect, like universal scrubs. Cause for me, I really like to like see what fragrances match each other and then try to like layer them. So we're gonna do those. And then for body wash, ooh, see. Mm. Hmm. I want something like a little sweeter than the fresh cream. So let me hold on. Okay, this one is fresh cream and this one is fresh cream warm cashmere. And I feel like the warm cashmere just goes a little bit better because it's got that like super sweet. It's almost kind of like a caramel scent. Hmm. Okay, here's what we'll do. One second. A really easy way or like a tip or trick to like learn how to layer fragrances is just look at the notes so like say you have a perfume that you really like to wear and you know that's the one you want to wear but you're like okay what body wash should I use all that just cheat sheet go to the website so let's look at what the notes are in jazz club because I'm pretty sure yeah it's a warm spicy yeah okay yeah that's I think what we're, we want to give Okay, okay, so it's got pink pepper in it, rum accord, tobacco, and tobacco leaf. Okay, and there's also vanilla, so I'm like, all right, there had to be something in there that was like a little bit sweet, because I know it has like a little smell of vanilla into it. So, I'm trying to see, do I have any other body washes that might go a little bit better i feel like anything that's kind of in that like the cocoa butter vanilla-ish fragrance so like the dove cocoa butter 
or either one of these I feel like is going to be fine. So a lot of body washes fragrances don't really last after you get out of the shower, but these two do. That's why I'm kind of like being a little picky about it. I'm like, mm -hmm. which one I would I rather go with? This one's actually almost smells more like salted caramel. And this one is more of just like a fresh clean, like a fresh cream. Like that's kind of what it smells like. So if I had something that was more vanilla esque or like a vanilla body wash i'd probably go with that over either one of these so if you have like a favorite vanilla body wash let your girl know so i can like tweak this routine a little bit but i think that's what we're gonna stick with i am gonna shave we gotta shave anyway i'm gonna use this razor shaving cream mm. you know what i need to i need a vanilla body oil okay let's just like make a list of everything that we need so we need Jazz Club, we need a vanilla body oil. I already know which one I want to get for the body oil. It's going to be the Traja P. Henson body oil. I've been trying to get it forever, but you got to go to Walmart. And Walmart is just not the place I want to be these days. <laughs> so, okay, Jazz Club, vanilla body oil. We could even do like a vanilla body wash. I'm going to use my oil cleanser. We're going to shave. We're going to do like our regular oil hygiene. We're going to do a lip scrub. All of that we could just do in the shower because I'm of course going to take you guys with me. And we're going to get our whole little routine and stuff going so okay let me put this stuff back all right i think we've got the base of everything so now we just need to take a shower which i need to do anyways because it's the morning time and i haven't taken a shower yet so these are all the products we're going to use today but again we'll probably like tweak the routine a little bit i'll try to like link what my suggestions would be for the body wash and then the body oil and then jazz club and yeah once we actually like put it all together should i refilm these after we've like put it all together with the outfit with the accessory like do you guys want to see the like part two of this i don't know when it'll be but you know what i'm saying like <laughs> maybe we can do that I am going to go over my shower hygiene stuff again, but if you just like quickly while I'm in the shower, so if you want like a more in-depth or detailed, I do have like my updated shower or not shower routine, like hygiene routine on my YouTube already. We'll get out, we'll do hair, we'll do makeup and put our fragrance on and then pack our purse. So I feel like that's also a very, very important part of going out is making sure that we have everything that we need in the purse. So let's shower. we just got out of the shower so we're immediately gonna do odor prevention and body care because you don't want to start getting ready and then start getting sweaty and smelly so we're gonna preserve all of the cleaning we just did with good old witch hazel i started putting this under my armpits now too because i'm like it also will help with like razor burn and bumps and ingrowns and all that kind of stuff so i also do it on my armpits and then we're gonna do a little swipe on the back side as well just to keep us fresh down there okay and then for deodorant i'm just gonna go in with the loom whole body deodorant the invisible cream this one is unscented because i don't really have like a vanilla e deodorant that i'm loving right now so again if you have a vanilla deodorant i'm about to put this on the list i feel like i came a little bit unprepared today but that's okay we're just gonna go with the flow next time i'll go shopping before i'm just trying to see if there is any like vanilla deodorants uh, okay i know people are probably gonna say this the donna i'm just not a fan of the baby powderish smell like if you really like that you would love this but i feel like it's almost a little overpowering and i wish it was like if it had like a little bit of sweetness to it i think i would love it it's just too powdery for me i want it like a little bit sweet i'm trying to see if anybody got like a vanilla perfume okay it looks like secret has one okay and dove might have one as well so we're gonna have to check that out for now though this is unscented when you first take it out the bottle it does not smell great okay but it dries down and then it doesn't smell like anything so you can also use this as like booty deodorant i like to put it under my boobs and stuff too it's during the summertime hot sweaty like i really do like this 
I know everybody's like initial thing when they first take it out of the bottle is like, ooh, like only this one, I think the unscented one, the other ones smell like the fragrance they are. But like now it doesn't smell like anything. Like it dried down and it doesn't smell like anything. So you have to just give it 10 seconds to dry down so that like initial little smell will go away. I don't even know what that smell is, but it does go away. There's our little deodorant. And then I know I told y'all in my hygiene video that I recently got this. So I've started using it and it's just like an ingrown deodorant. It says it's a deodorant. I'm personally not using it as a deodorant. It has a fresh like clean smell but i'm not using that for it today i'm just going to use it on my bikini area for ingrowns and discoloration and i've only used it a couple times because so i can't say exactly how well it's working but i do really like the application of it because i feel like if you're using it to like lighten and brighten and balance you could also put this like in between your bed at night like just lighten all the areas somehow they get darker even though the sun don't shine who knows how that happens but anyways i guess friction i guess we do know how that happens okay let me slow down i'm starting to get all Fancy, very excited but i feel like i always have to get out the shower and like do my odor stuff immediately or it just like ruins the shower so now we're gonna go in with our body butter and this is again just the josie moran argon body butter i've been loving this if it was paired with the oil i think it would be even better so i definitely want to go pick up that vanilla body oil but the smell of this alone still smells really good because even though it doesn't smell like really much of anything to me it still has a sweet note to it or something i don't know like it doesn't smell as strong as the vanilla bo vibes body scrub but it's definitely got something vanilla-y there also why is the tan on my face fading so fast i sometimes do my like body care in the shower too like if i have an oil and i know it's gonna be a little bit messier i'll just do it in the shower so i usually leave my body butters in there i always go for a butter over a lotion that's just like my preference i feel like it's just more hydrating and it gives your skin more of a glow to it i need to go get my toes done that's what i need to do today but i literally have so many things on my to-do list i'm like Ugh, my toes might have to wait but then if i wait another week well yeah I'm trying to get myself back on a schedule so i'm trying to figure out what my new maintenance day is and stuff like that since the kids are back at school i need to find my road but i honestly have no idea where it is what order do you guys like to get ready in so for me personally i like to either like do my body care then do my hair and then put my outfit on and then i'll like put a robe on while i do like my little makeup i think that works for me because my makeup doesn't really take that long so i'm not doing much but i cannot stand putting my clothes on after i've done something to my face and my hair because then i feel like it gets messed up so sometimes i'll even put my outfit on like before i do my hair but because i have braids it's not that serious i'm gonna put a little bit of my fragrance on while my body care is still like damp and soaking in and i just like to spray it literally all over my body and just give it a chance to like really soak in so now my skin is going to smell like the fragrance that i'm wearing and then when we put our outfit on we can also spray our clothes which i just feel like helps the smell last longer and come off the body a little bit more when i do it that way versus if i just put it on when i put my outfit on it's like does that make sense I just wanted to show y'all. Body is so glowy. That's why you gotta do a body butter and the scrub. The scrub is moisturizing, the body butter is good. First, hair is really simple. Boho, what do I ask for, you're wondering? <laughs> so I get knotless bohemian braids and I get either two or three bundles right now. We have two bundles in. And I did body wave this time. The girl that I get my hair done by, I will leave her Instagram, but then also she sells bundles. If you're not like in the state or anything, no promo. I don't get no discount, no nothing. I just really like her and I've been going to her, I feel like for like a year now. So I really like the body wave. I feel like this has been my favorite. I like the like curly curls on me too, but like maintenance wise, this body wave is so much easier to maintain than the super curly hair. This spray bottle that I got from Target that is so cute. It sucks because I have to keep spraying it. I thought it was like a continuous mister. So, you know, you like pump it a couple times and you just, shh, no. I got to keep spraying it down. So this is just kind of what I do for my daytime maintenance for my boho braids. If I want to style them, I'm just going to hit it with a little mist. I should just wet it in the shower as long as this is taken. Also, I feel like I'm going to be a tube top in the fall type of girl. Cause it's so hot here it's giving i'm gonna be wearing tube top and sweatpants i love tube tops on me i think they're so cute and they just show a lot of your like skin you know without too much cleavage but like it just gives your glowing like i love that like are we done yet i still feel a couple of like dry spots 
Okay, and then for my hair product, I'm gonna go in leave-in, gel, whatever you really wanna use. I like for these curls to have like a soft wave, whatever they are. So I'm going in with the jelly type. It's a stronghold by Fenty, but it doesn't give me like that crispy, crunchy look. It just gives it, like when it dries, it just looks like more defined, which I really like. So I like that it's not too harsh. Now I need to find a vanilla scented leave-in conditioner. <laughs> I will tell y'all, but I like everything to match real bad. I feel like it all needs to go together to give off the right smell. And I feel like hair smell is also important, especially if like you wear your hair down or you have long hair and you know, flies over your shoulder or something. The people behind you, next to you, somebody's gonna get a whiff of that. Now I'm like, okay. Vanilla, I said, was gonna be like my base for the fall anyway. I just feel like I haven't worn any vanilla fragrances or scents in so long and so i wanted to use that as like my base fragrance for the fall that way if i want to change up like i said i really like autumn vibes i like jazz club i like by the fireplace at least i have a steady staple body care routine that i know is gonna pair really well with those fragrances so now i feel like i want a vanilla leave it well i'm actually not gonna have braids anymore anyways so r.i.p my braid era your girl is getting a sew-in i'm really nervous because y'all know i'm rough on hair well if you do know i'm rough on hair i don't do good at maintaining my styles and i'm not putting any more heat on my hair than when i leave out of from getting my hair done so i'm gonna have to be like religious about wrapping my hair up and just really preserving the style so that way i don't heat damage my leave out and then i'm gonna see how it goes and then if I don't like it or it doesn't like mesh well with me and my not taking care of my hair. When it comes to like wrapping it and stuff like that when it's straight, I'm just a little lazy. But if that doesn't work, I'm gonna probably do like a two by six closure behind the hairline next time. So we'll see. Stay tuned for the vlogs. I had one sew in before. Well, I've had two sew ins actually. And I didn't really, I didn't really like either one of them. The first sew in I had ever, I took it out immediately, like the next day. She's like, oh, this is not my vibe. So we'll see how it goes. All I need to do now is just lay my edges. I'm gonna let my hair just like air dry. You could diffuse it if you want to, but for me, not that serious. Okay, this is my favorite edge control. It's the olive oil super hold wig grip gel. Now, I have had some of you guys tell me that you feel like it leaves a white but I think that's when you mix it with other products because I've never had that happen to me unless I like have other products in my hair and it like just doesn't mix well with other products so that's something to be aware of if you are like wearing your natural hair and you have like a conditioner in it doesn't mix well with other stuff but just for like braids and like holding my edges my edges will literally last all day through the sweat even till I get in the shower this stuff holds the edges okay grips them and they're stuck all day so I love it for that because that's exactly what I need because that's all I got is my edges right now. So all I need is for those to be slick and sleek. What are those makeup tutorials? Concealer, pat, something, other side. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Other side. Very demure, very classy. What is that? What is the other thing? I really only saw the video like a couple days ago. I kept saying everybody's saying demure and I'm like, where is this? I'm on the wrong side of TikTok. And then I finally started seeing it and I was like, oh, very classy, very demure, very cutesy. It's the fact that we start talking like this. It just cracks me up. Can you imagine like, sometimes I'd be doing like the little slang or talking in the TikTok lingo and I'd be saying it out loud. And I'd be like, I need to stop doing that. I'm three people's mother it's not giving oh i forgot to put my lip stuff on i always like to put my like, little lip plumper on while i'm getting ready that lip scrub by tatcha that i used in the shower oh my gosh i love that scrub i just had to tell y'all i didn't feel like i emphasized enough on it in the hygiene routine but that scrub is everything from the application to the way it scrubs the moisture that it leaves on your lips after you're done using it it's amazing i love that i don't have to use my finger i can literally just use the applicator squirt a little bit on my lips do all the scrubbing and then just like rinse it off and then it's got some type of like shea butter or something in it i'm assuming because it just like sticks onto your lips and it's super moisturizing so i love that and then i'm using the lawless forget the filler this is a plumper that's not going to burn and sting your lips it's just going to give you a nice full oh i got a little piece of crusty skin it's just going to give you a nice little 
dehydrate plump like they're just gonna look more pouty more plump but it doesn't like burn or anything like that and it's still hydrating so i like to put that on while i'm getting ready and then also at night time and then it also comes in a lip gloss too, which i just recently started using the gloss i have it in the color nudie i'm not using it today i think for our makeup no makeup look today i know what i'm doing and i think we're gonna go with more like a brown chocolatey lip since that's what the outfit okay now we're about to get into skincare and do our little makeup so we can start sipping on our karma water if you know you know okay this is my favorite flavor i kind of go back and forth between strawberry and the berry cherry but i'm liking berry cherry right now so karma water is a probiotic water it's gonna keep your body just regulated your ph balance it's gonna keep your hoo-ha moisturized okay if you don't get anything out this video you never tried karma water girl what are you doing i'm excited but kind of nervous i've been kind of doing like playing it safe and doing the same little look every time and i'm not going to switch it up too much but i think i'm going to try a couple new products today so y'all heard me in the beginning get that urology girl i'm not playing okay my skin looks good okay it's been looking so good consistently even when i tried other things and other brands and had like a little custom formula for my skin my skin always went back to breaking out and having hormonal acne now that i've been using my curology and i've been doing a lot less to my skin it has just stayed consistently clear i've been having months of clear skin chef's kiss okay so when i do any type of anything on my face really i like to have like a really moisturized base so i've never tried this before we're gonna try it today it's laneige cream skin toner i've been dying to try one of these milk or creamy toners and then i got this one from with my sephora points in one of my last orders so i was like okay per we're gonna just try it out as a little skin prep because that's what i'd be seeing the girls doing and again these videos not tutorials this is just the journey of me trying to get my life together which i feel like i've low-key been doing for like the past three years but you know it's fine it's just a process <laughs> And then for the moisturizer, I also have never tried this before. It's the Laneige Water Bank. I always like to do something heavy, even if it's during the day, because my skin, personally, because I use like retinol in my custom formula, it will get like a little dried or flaky, like y'all saw that little flaky piece right there. So I don't want my makeup to get crusty or anything. So I like to just make sure I have a good moisturizing base. Okay, this probably isn't gonna take us long. We're still gonna keep it semi-simple. Um, during the daytime, I like to use the Fenty. It's like the Hydrovisor Tinted Moisturizer because it also has uh, SPF in it. So a couple of days ago, I swear I was a seven, but I think I'm going to have to go. I think I have five and six also. And I'm like, it's giving your girls more like a six. And I need to go to the pool ASAP. I don't know where my six is. I have five, but five is going to be too light. I know I have six somewhere. Okay, I can't find it right now. So we're just going to probably mix five and six together on the back of my hand. I usually mix it with a glowy product anyway. So that's five. And then I like them because you can just buy the refills. Sustainable. We love a sustainable. That can't, it comes out fast and a lot, but it's buildable. So if you want to have more coverage, you can. Yeah, we're just going to mix it up a little bit. I'm probably not going to use like all of that. I like to keep it lighter. I feel like for me personally, so I've learned that my face type is like you have two face profile types. I think it's like small face, big features, and then large face, little features. Whichever one I am looks better with softer makeup i don't look good with any like anything heavy like full glam or full beat so i like to keep it very sheer and light even if i do have like small imperfections and stuff that you might be able to see through the makeup that feel like that still looks better on me than trying to add just a whole bunch of stuff to my face because my features are so small i feel like it washes me out so yeah that's just what i'm doing i just like to keep it light then i'm gonna go in with the say this is the sun glow and i just mix it right in to either sometimes i use the summer fridays skin tint but i'm using this right now because it has spf in it um or i'll use like the what is it niacinamide glow drops from glow recipe anything like that that's like one of those like glow drops that are super popular right now is what i mix in with my skin tint and then i just rub it in oh that looks nice it might be a little white is it a little i don't know 
Anyways, I'm just gonna mix it in or mix it in apply it with my hand like a sunscreen because I just feel like that gives me the most natural finish I've tried doing it with like a brush and then like a makeup brush and then I feel like it just like gives me like makeup brush lines in my skin so make sure I do my eyelids sometimes I forget my eyelids and then I feel like it looks crazy I hate getting it in my eyebrows though because then I feel like I always have to take a wipe or wipe out <laughs> wipe it out of my eyebrows I should like slow down and be more precise and patient but I'm not okay that came out fast so we have a lot left over let me go wipe my hand off really fast <clears throat> okay I'm just gonna wipe it out of my brows because I don't want my brows to look like the color of my skin we only have like two more steps to go okay now i'm gonna go in with my bronzer this is from say it's the tan bronze sun melt i really want to get it in a darker color because when i'm like browner in the summer i feel like this just blends in with my skin tone right now i've lost a little bit of my color so i think it'll help bring some life back to my face but i don't know if they have it in a darker color but i definitely want it in a darker color i'm just gonna go around my hairline i don't really go all the way down like my cheeks or anything like that with my bronzer again i just feel this is what works for me like just less is more see how it's like not i mean it, it like warms it up a little bit but it's not like as dark of a bronzer as i want to get that like really tan look uh, on my forehead but we're gonna still warm it up the look i've been into right now is a sun kit well okay i'm trying to think about the outfit now i'm getting carried away because i'm like i'm still in summer vibes but i'm am trying to like curate these to be like to like match the vibe of the outfit so i might not do like the sunburnt look i've been doing that all summer like i've just been using like a blush and i've been putting that all over like my face here and here and just gives you like that sun kiss but this is fall time and i still want to obviously look like i have color my goal is to keep the just you know my my tan if you want to call it all year round i'm also going to put just a little bit on my eyelids that's kind of what i'm like looking for right now is like something to do on my eyelids like i like a little shimmer and glow but i'm not again like a big eyeshadow girl so i just usually put like a little bit of the bronzer and then i'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter like right on the tips of my eyebrows my eyebrows are not done right now either i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna grow them back out or not i've got this like eyebrow growth serum it kind of defeats the purpose of using it if i keep just like shaping my brows over and over again so i also have not found a perfect brow gel this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and it's just not sticky enough like I like the wax textured brow gels because I feel like that's what gives me the best hold and it gives me the best moldability you know work ability to like do your brows because when I use stuff like this this is why I'm like touching my brows I feel like I always have to smush them down so they'll lay in the place that I want them to like this will hold my brows but I want it to be able to mold them product that sticks and I can mold which I know like the brow wax or pomade whatever it is is a little bit better for that but I don't have an eyebrow brush so I can't use that right now. blush I've been using this. It's the Road in the Toasted Teddy. And I actually think I am going to use that still because it's still like a fall. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure y'all are focused. Fall like color, but I've also been using it a lot during the summer because it just gives me like, ugh, I just love. So I do a little bit on my nose. It's kind of like my skin tone, but just fleshier like a little bit. I don't know. I just love it. I love it. I'm so glad I ended up getting these. I almost did it because I was like, oh, I've been getting blushes, but no, this is like one of my favorite blushes right now. So that's the color that it is. See, I think this is still giving fun fall. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to my forehead. I really like the color that it gives to my skin. And then I'm just going to blend it out with this ultimate blending brush from e.l.f. I actually really like this brush. This brush and then this little brush, it's the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. I know I don't be using the right brushes, y'all. I'm not claiming to be a makeup expert or doing it properly. This is what I feel like just looks good on me. Now, if I have a blindness and I'm doing something and y'all are like, oh, that actually looks awful, please let me know nicely, nicely. I think I'm gonna get into more, like I've been doing like more pink blushes, but I think like as the fall comes around, I think I'm gonna do like more red, like more cherry color. Like I think that actually looks really good on my skin. Like this is more of like a, like has more like of a purplish red hue to me, but I feel like a red would look so cute. Like a toasty, like not like a bright red, but like a, 
you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to look for something like that because I feel like that would look good and it would be like a nice fall color. I'm trying to build my fall wardrobe right now. So I've been collecting a few pieces here and there. I haven't done any online shopping and I still wanna go to like Aritzia, which I haven't been able to go there yet. So <clears throat> that's my plan. Hopefully I'm trying to like take other people's inspo, but then like also make it something that's like my own vibe something i'll be comfortable in because one thing i've learned is like even when i see other people's like outfit inspo that could be really cute and then i could go get the same exact outfit and i won't necessarily like like it on my body type so i'm still trying to like learn what i feel like looks good on me so i need to hire a stylist there is one girl that i actually see and it's like she does so many different styles because sometimes stylists they just have like more of like one general style that they do really well but there's this one lady that i've been seeing and i feel like her stuff just looks like she can curate it for everybody it looks so cute my freckle stuff is almost gone i think we're gonna leave the freckles in the summer i'm not gonna do fall freckles even though i do think they're so cute i'm looking for well i have this so i guess we can do this i'm looking for my little lip stuff this is the fenty matchstick in pearl pearl and i've been trying to find like a cream highlighter or something that just looks like skin but glowy and i think this is it i know you guys gave me some suggestions i want to get this in another shade too because this has like gold like hues to it and i like that but i also want something maybe like a little less gold but it like blends out really nicely there's no like harsh lines and then you see it's just it gives you a little skin like glow so i've been really liking that i'm also looking for my lash curler which i need to get a new one because this one sucks butt so i think people were saying i should get the say one and i have a sephora gift card so i'm planning on going to I thought I was gonna have like a cutesy day to go to Sephora and Target. I might still, I don't really know. It's like I have more free time now because the kids are back in school, but also I still gotta pick them up by a certain time. So I wanna try a new mascara today. I've been using the YSL one a lot lately, but I have all these mascaras from Tarte that I haven't tried. This is a voluminous mascara. I got this sent to me like last year and I still have yet to use it. They all are supposed to do something different, I guess. Tubing mascara. What does that mean? Maybe we should just open them up and look at the brushes. I want to go get another lash lift. Okay, I like this because I feel like... There we go. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. This is the tubing one. I feel like this would be good for my bottom lashes. And just... I like a more, like, natural mascara look. I don't like it to look, like, overly mascara, if that makes sense. I really think I want to try a brown mascara, too, instead of a black. Just to see if I like that a little better. Okay, this one is the Man Eater. The brushes kind of look similar. This one just looks a little wider. What is this? This one's like in a case. This is lights, camera, lashes. Okay, this is gonna give you more of that volumized lash. So let's see. I'm gonna try this one first and then the other ones to like separate the lashes. I just like a very minimal, like everything a little bit. I like everything a little bit, just a little bit. Very demure, very cutesy, very mindful. Why is it that you have to make like the weirdest faces when you put on mascara? It's like, <laughs> screaming. And what I mean by like the mascara look, it's like, I don't like when they get like clumpy and together. Okay, just a little bit. Like when the top tips and stuff, see like that, even now, I feel like, it made my lashes look longer, but it made them look even more dramatic, which I don't know if I really like that because I like I'm loving not having lashes, to be honest right now. I don't know if I'm going to go back to getting lash extensions or not, but I've also learned like in the process of trying different mascaras. I like for my lashes to be seen, but I don't like when they look like I don't like a mascara lash, like an overly. That's just my preference. You know, I feel like it because my eye eyelashes are still very sparse, like if they were fuller then maybe, but like I don't like when they look like spider legs. That's not that's not the vibe i was going for so i'm looking for my freaking i'm looking for my hot chocolate lips lip gloss from bendy here it is is it hot chocolate yeah oh my gosh i actually love this stuff i've had it for so long oh 
I forgot about this. I need a pencil sharpener. I didn't even realize we were still doing that. Like, what year is it? We need a pencil sharpener for our lip liner. It should be automatic, but I really like this lip liner. I've been using it a lot. It's the Traced Out Lip Pencil, and it's in the color Rubber Bands, and I like it because it's like just almost the same color as my lips, so you're not really going to be able to see it too much. I'm still experimenting with lip colors because I feel like not a lot of lip colors looks good on me, but I actually really like this one. And then for like an everyday look, I was pairing it with the new bombs that Rihanna came out with this. Oh, mine literally got all melted in the car. I've been using it so much. Um, and I really like this shade too. It's the Tulip Kiss. I'm just gonna put a little bit on because why not? But this is like the real star of the show. I've absolutely been loving this. It's the Fenty Heat Hot Chocolate and it's a lip plumper and it's like a sheer brown, which goes with what we're putting on, right? Anyways, it plumps your lips up and then it's just a very subtle brown. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You can notice it a little bit more when I don't put on these two things or like this and the lip balm with it because these are kind of lighter so I feel like it toned it down a little bit but on its own it's like a little bit darker but I've been loving that lately. Another thing that I've been thinking about trying to add into my routine is like maybe a little bit of eyeliner. So like I have downward turned almond eyes I think and I want to pick them up a little bit but I don't really know exactly how to do that. I guess since we're not going I feel like I'm going somewhere now and I'm really not but I'm like so we can just kind of play around. I don't know how to get them to come up and then I don't want anything super noticeable in the corners because I don't have like eyeshadow on or anything but I'm like I don't know. I feel like putting it on the bottom kind of makes my eyes look smaller and I don't really want them to look smaller. I don't know. Give me some suggestions. Let me know. My lips are already plumping. The tingling has begun. My problem is I'm always getting lip gloss around the sides. I think for styling of my hair, I'm really just gonna leave it half up, half down. I've been liking that the most lately. Put my ring on. This is like my go-to favorite bracelet right now. I'm still working on my stack. I don't really, cause I don't, I'm so indecisive. Like I'll like something and then I won't like it. And then I'm like, I don't know. I'm just very like simple, dainty stuff. So even like wearing a lot of bracelets at one time, I don't know. Like it looks cute on other people, but then when I feel like I try to do it, it feels like it's given like I'm trying to do too much. And I am just like a not do too much girl. Like that's just me. Like that's just my, Vibe. That's how I feel the most confident. That's what I feel like I look the best in. It's just subtle, but quiet. Okay. So that's it for my little makeup. Usually, like summertime, I do a little freckles. Um, every now and again, I'll do a little setting powder. I have the Huda Beauty one, but this one is like super intense. I feel like it's giving like more full beat. But if I do like my faux freckles, I'll use a little bit of this to like set them. But I don't like using too much of the powder because I feel like it takes away from the glowiness of the look and I'm, I like that. I like to do it in some areas. I don't do anything under my eyes either. Like I don't do any concealer or anything like that. I haven't mastered that yet. Maybe we'll get into it, but I feel like when I do, it just makes my eyes look really washed out and small. So I don't like that. And then I need a suggestion for a setting spray. I had ended up purchasing the full bottle of the one size, but it's not bad, but like, I feel like it doesn't make my face lasts all night. Like I want something, if I'm going out, it's gonna last all night, at least like six hours, something like that, you know? Like, <laughs> not I inhaled it. Woo! So yeah, I feel like it helps with transfer. Like if I hug people, I feel like it doesn't necessarily like get on there, but then you have to use so much of it also. So I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Is it expensive? All right, we're gonna do a little bit of body glow on the chest, the neck, right here. Well, I'm trying to think with the outfit. Yeah, you can see chest and shoulders and it's brown. So I usually do this after I've already gotten dressed because you want to be very mindful, very cutesy about where you place it, especially if you're wearing any like lighter colored clothing so you don't get it on there. But what I'm about to put on is brown anyway, so. Take it all the way down. Down, this is the Patrick Ta Major Glow. And it looks really, really nice, especially in the sun, but it also still looks like skin. And it's not like overly like glittery. It's just, it's by like, it's just enough. 
my problem is i'd be like i need it everywhere like put it on my back i want it to blend on my whole body i'll be putting it on my legs and everything like if i'm wearing like a dress i'll put it on my legs i love this stuff i have like beaten it down mm, but this was fun i don't even get ready like once a week you know it's like cutesy okay so this was fun i probably won't do this every single week but maybe we'll start doing this like once a month or something we need help on the earrings i do have like i said little drew I have a couple of pairs of earrings that look like this so what do we think do we think like this is cute do we do something else this is where you guys come in we need i feel like maybe even like another little cute necklace i'm open to other jewelry pieces but i'm gonna put the outfit on i know it's not gonna be exactly looking just great we need to get it tailored in a little bit but i just want to see what the whole look looks like put together with this blush bronzer <laughs> sunscreen the lip and then you guys need to help me pick a bag and a shoe so earrings too i need to just do some more hunting for like jewelry a lot of the jewelry pieces i have are like just all i'm not i don't know if they're st stupid but like part like i literally only have like i have a, a thousand different variations of fendi hoops and i'm like they're cute but i want something like i don't know just a little different so this is like one of the options that i have right now I don't know which one I like better. I'm gonna take them both out. You guys gotta find me some earrings, even maybe some more rings to stack. I do have these ones. This one from Majuri that I like because it's like an asymmetrical ring. And then I have a couple of other like Fendi rings, but something I like things, I, a lot of the rings that I have are like more chunkier and I want something that, I like dainty little, just very little, very cutesy. Very okay, I'm done, I'm done saying it. it's gonna get old. But let's, put on the outfit really fast and then we're gonna come look at it and see what it looks like in the mirror and in the lighting out here and not in the closet and see if we like it don't look at my bed because it's obviously not made i forgot to brush my hair y'all i totally forgot to brush my hair i forgot to brush that leave-in through so my hair looks a little frizzy so just don't mind that but this is obviously the fit i love the outfit again i think it's so cute just need to get it tailored a little bit on the straps and then the feet or the legs. I don't know if y'all ever saw that, but they're a little long. So this is what we're looking like. What do we think? What bag? What shoe? I'm um, now that I'm looking at it like out here in the lighting. I don't think I would do like a bright color. I think I would do like a cream off white, not a pure white or maybe like a gold strappy, like just like thong sandal with a little heel on it. Maybe a little cute gold clutch but like not gold like super glitter like just something like super super simple hmm what do we think because i could see this with like a little clutch like it's even like a little clutch or a little shoulder bag yeah yes no i like it i mean i've always liked the outfit but i just never knew where i was gonna wear it and what i was gonna wear it with so here we are now okay now that i've made a complete mess in my room and i'm not even going anywhere let's see what's in the purse so i have been taking this with me everywhere so i think i would just pack like whatever like little blush that i use i try to buy everything in like a compact size so i can take it on the go with me again this was the road blush and the toasted teddy and then the little brush to blend it i'm obviously gonna take my hot chocolate lip balm gotta keep a portable charger on me at all times because i am a mother first and foremost and then um, I always like to take like little Listerine strips. This is cutesy. This is demure. This is very mindful. Not smacking gum or sucking on a Tic Tac. Get you something like this. Okay. Hurt. And then now that we have the outfit fully on, this is kind of waste again. Not going anywhere, but spray a little bit. And then I would obviously layer like my Jazz Club or if I find another fragrance that I feel like goes really well with the vibe, I can put that on with it and i will smell good feel good look good period okay well this was fun it's been so long since i put real clothes on and even though i'm not going out the house maybe i kind of like it better that way anyways because i'm a very don't look at me when i'm out in public so i think that's another reason why i always dress very casual very sweatpants don't stick out like a sword though vibes this is the final look in my car i keep my car packed with my little wipes and toiletries and all that kind of stuff so i'll probably just put or i would just put like one of my little travel wipes in my purse and stuff like that but let me know if there's anything that you guys take in your purse that you've never really heard me mention or you think is something unique and again help your girl out we need a bag and shoes okay the outfit is not in play yet but hopefully she will be soon so 
bag, shoes, accessories, let me know any other suggestions you have. I'm definitely open. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another one.